Hi guys, welcome on Plasma here. It's not about Plasma, it's about SDM, but it's about Plasma. <laughs> the thing is, when you're on Arcalex, we have chosen to have the SDM divided into pieces. What do I mean by that? If you are on a Plasma system, any else, any anything else, anything not Arch, right? You'll find out that there is the SDM um, folder. Let's see, sdm.conf, here is one. sdm.conf D. And in here is a bit of code. That bit of code contains something that I would like to highlight in this video because there is a question on Discord. That's how we work. If there's no, not yet a video about it, we'll just make a, vi an, uh, a video, right? So, the thing is, I like to auto login. So, session, plasma, user, Eric, and this is where we are. Now, at this point in time, I told him the session should be, and let's get out of here, but let's continue the story with sdm.com first. The other one is sdm.conf, and that's not successful, so I'm scrolling to the file. sdm.conf is the rest, right? These are the things we don't we don't change. We haven't changed these things. This is the default. And the other file is where we can change things. A different cursor, a different theme, stuff like that. So this is our SEDM conf. Two files. A folder somewhere and this one. Now, if I want to change the configuration of SEDM, I'll dive into the files. But of course, this is Plasma. So there is a big system settings configuration where you can set anything and everything. Now, actually, we should have a look. <laughs> we should have a look. So SDM, right? Login screen, SDM, cool. And then we says it says here we use Arclick Simplicity, fine, no problem. A plasma settings, behavior, install from file. We're gonna keep this look, that's okay. How to start all this, background services, all that, desktop session, aha, uh -huh. desktop session, confirm logout. So all these clicks will result in a file somewhere, right? Now, I'm not seeing any the things I like to have yet. So let's look in here, apply plasma settings, install from file, behavior, what's that? So automatically log in Eric, and here we have the thing that's uh, the question on Discord, right? Plasma Wayland. He wants to auto log in into Plasma Wayland. We've released in February the Plasma ISO with the possibility to log in to log out uh, as with uh, using the Wayland. So I do have to point out that if you go to the internet, they still say it's not that stable, right? It's not still in growth so to speak Waylands. we go to the arch wiki you read and where did i read it somewhere that they said okay um beware it's gonna be still very much i think it was here as it am the wayland window in system is not yet fully supported wayland sessions are listed but as it am runs on x11 and so on and so on all right so it's still you try it out, you like it, fine, great. So Plasma Wayland, if I apply this and I give him my password, something on my machine has changed, probably. So I go to sddm.d, sddm.conf.d, this one, and have a look. So instead of Plasma session, it says now Plasma Wayland session. Where is it coming from? Super simple, it's coming from, well actually we have a key binding, a, a, a alias for it. We have XD, these are all the user share X sessions that we have on this system. So these are all the user share X sessions that we have. So voila, that's it. The content of that folder XD is plasma i can run plasma in x11 that's what it means and then xdw is there anything wayland provided yes plasma wayland 
And that's why it is, right? That's why it's called Session Plasma Wayland and not Plasma anymore. We have to tell him to use this one. And the other guy, what was the other guy again? I think in Wayland or something, Wayland Sessions, here they are. So that's the XDW. XDW. Voila, that's all you need to know. If, if every detail now why and how and where it all is. Now if we log out and we should reboot and then know if this is gonna work because we're in a virtual machine here trying this out. So if, if I restart, I'm still gonna auto login and use the Wayland session. But if we can log in into virtual machine, I don't know. And it's always waiting. And we do have a no, we don't have a black screen. Cool. So voila, we're now logged in into Wayland and we can log out and observe that behavior if it says up here Plasma Wayland. So it was correct. It was working on VirtualBox at this point in time with these kernels and with this VirtualBox version and so on and so on. All variables worked. Plasma Wayland works on VirtualBox today. All right, that's what you need to know if you want to outlink always with Plasma Wayland. Cheers.